Hi, this is Damien from BC Diagnostic Solutions. Today we're going to look at a 2005 Renault Scenic with a K4J 730 engine. The purpose of this demonstration is to show the relationship between serial communication diagnostics through the data link connector and parallel communication using an oscilloscope to test the performance of the engine. We're going to look at the relationship between the manifold absolute pressure sensor and the exhaust gas oxygen sensor. The screen we have here shows the data being graphed for both uh, data parameters relating to the manifold absolute pressure and the oxygen sensor data. A 5 volt map sensor is used, which we can see the ECU has calculated here to read at idle speed 400 millibar, which is, uh, which is pretty standard. And if we look here, it's a zirconia type oxygen sensor, a narrow band switching between 100 and 800 millivolts or 0.1 of a volt and 0.8 of a volt. For this demonstration, I've used the Snap-on Verus Pro, uh, which, is, which is superb at being able to switch quickly between applications. You can switch from the scanner module to the scope module and back to the scanner module again very quickly. So I've connected up my leads, channel one, I have connected to the signal wire of the oxygen sensor, which is the black wire on this on this four wire connector. And channel two is connected to the map sensor, which is connected onto the inlet manifold. And I have the scanner module connected to the data link connector fitted inside the vehicle. So in order to carry out a test on this, we're gonna snap the throttle open and look at the, the relationship between the manifold pressure and the and the uh, exhaust gas oxygen sensor reading. Take the engine speed up to wide open throttle, up to maximum engine speed, and we just pause the waveform. What can be seen here, if we zoom in slightly, is that the manifold pressure went from 400 millivolts or 400 millibar up to a thousand millibar, which is atmospheric pressure almost, one, one bar. At that point, we see that the oxygen sensor, which had been switching away between 100 and 800 millivolts, went up to, to fully rich, which is closer to 800 or 900 millivolts, stayed there for the, for the duration that the throttle was snapped open, and then under overrun, the trace dropped down to zero, and then again, if we see here, began to start and began to start fluctuating again here as you as you can see it over the right hand side of the trace. So that's looking at it through serial communication. If we now look at the oscilloscope, so we have it set up now with a manual trigger that will capture the snap throttle event. So I'll snap the throttle open here now. Again we reach maximum engine speed and Due to the, the setup of the trigger, we see that the trace has been captured here for us. So, as you can see, again we have the oxygen sensor switching away from, from rich to lean. Uh, lean being the lower voltage, 100 millivolts, rich being 800 millivolts. And you see when the, the throttle is snapped open, the map sensor voltage increases up to, up to approximately 4.5 volts. During that period of time, the oxygen sensor uh, returns a voltage pertaining to a rich mixture. And you see once the throttle is released, the oxygen sensor voltage drops down to, to zero millivolts, drops down to nothing, because the overrun fuel cutoff has been enabled. And also at this point, we see the max sensor voltage drops down to approximately half a volt. The reason for this is the throttle has sla snapped closed and the engine speed is extremely high, so a large manifold pressure exists. This is a superb test in order to test that the, the control unit is able to fuel the engine correctly for, a, for a, a given transient condition such as snap throttle. And if we can just resize this here, we should be able to look at these traces together and let's zoom in. You can see the two of them, the, the similarities between them here, but obviously we can gain a lot more real-time information from the parallel communication by using the oscilloscope. 
but using live data we also get a very similar similar image. I hope this has been an informative tutorial 